Did anyone else notice Yamper and Evie just phasing right through the school door when they were being chased? What happened there? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, episode 49 of the Journey's anime titled Chloe and the really mysterious Eevee just dropped. And in this episode, a mysterious Eevee that can evolve ends up with Chloe, someone who doesn't want to capture Pokemon, and she has to protect it from these suspicious looking people. How's that gonna go? Well, let's find out. This episode ended up being a much more enjoyable and ultimately better episode than I thought it would be when I saw the original episode preview. We start this episode with Go going back to school. Apparently, he made a deal with his teacher that he's going to just skip regular classes and just show up during test days. I guess Go's like me in college. That begs the question though, how does the school system even work in the Pokemon world? Ash doesn't go to school at all and he's the same age as Go. Did Ash drop out? Do you get a special permit as a trainer to skip school? It's something that's never been answered, but still, I would love to know. Also, Go looks ridiculous in a school uniform. On their way to school, Chloe and Go discuss Chloe's future. She says that the reason she hasn't captured any Pokemon is because everyone expects her to since she's the professor's daughter. She references episode 11 where her mother told her that eventually when the time comes, she will figure out her future on her own, not by anyone telling her to do so, and this is the central theme of this episode. We see that paralleled with an Eevee that we see also in this episode. This Eevee is in a location with a bunch of Eeveelutions around and is trying to figure out what it wants to be. It tries to be a Sylveon, it fails. It tries to be a Vaporeon, it fails. And inside the lab, when scientists try to get it to evolve via fire, water, and thunderstone, it fails. While the Eevee is outside of the lab, it comes across Chloe's Yamper, who we later find out is on its walk being brought to the park by Ash. Eevee also tries to be a Yamper, but obviously that fails. But when they're figuring out who each other are, the two scientists from the inside come out with a net to try and catch Eevee, who's been mischievously running away. And this obviously looks suspicious to Yamper, who runs along with Eevee. They run and run and run until they come across Chloe's school. Yamper recognizes Chloe's scent, so they go in the school with both Ash and the scientists chasing their respective Pokemon. Chloe finally spots her Yamper outside of the classroom during the test, and we find out that he or she struggles to speak in public. I had a feeling that was the case starting in episode 11, but there, she's cut off from saying anything by her classmates, so we couldn't really tell. Here, she can barely string together sentences when she speaks out loud. Poor Chloe. Somehow though, her teacher understands what she's talking about and lets her leave class in the middle of a test to go outside. Seriously, what type of schools are in this universe? Outside, she finally meets Evie. They have an immediate bond as foretold by the filter between the two when they meet, but when Yamper tells her about the scientist with the net that looks super suspicious, she calls Go on her phone, who is also let out from class by the teacher in the middle of a test to go help protect this Eevee. Seriously, what type of school is this? Shenanigans ensues and there's a chase between the scientists and the Eevee with Go and Chloe trying to quote protect the Eevee. Meanwhile, another plot that I didn't even mention earlier, we also find out that students aren't allowed to bring their Pokemon inside the class. They have to instead leave them out in the park with the rest of the other students' Pokemon. I don't think that leaving all of the students Pokemon outside with no supervision is a good idea and apparently Team Rocket agree. This is also the first time Go has had Sabo with him in a few episodes so you could probably imagine how that went when he tried to leave him there alone. So as Ash is looking for Yamper, he comes across Team Rocket dressed in these school outfits trying to steal the Pokemon. But before he can do anything about it, he falls in a pit trap, Team Rocket's oldest trick in the book. It feels like it's been forever since we last saw that, and Chloe and Go and the scientists who are all running also come across Team Rocket stealing all of the park Pokemon. Ash then hears Go talking to the scientists, telling them that he isn't going to let bad guys let them steal the Eevee, which is when finally the misunderstanding gets resolved when they explain that they're scientists, not bad guys. Ash then calls out to Go to let him know that these other people, aka Team Rocket, have stolen all the Pokemon in the park. When he asks them for it back, we get their typical motto. 
They call their prize master in, but in a nice twist from the usual formula, their machine doesn't actually work. Instead, they have to use the Pelipper that usually brings the prize machine to do battle, and it goes up against Yamper. Yamper tries to use Spark, but it's too weak and gets countered with the wing attack. Instead, Eevee also jumps into battle and like before begins to copy Yamper, but this time it's Spark, and it works as they both use it to go through Pelipper's Hydro Pump and send it blasting off. Team Rocket try to sneak off with all the Pokemon in the park from the machine, but Pikachu jumps out of the pit to use Iron Tail to destroy their machine to free all the Pokemon before using Thunderbolt to send Team Rocket blasting off. Everything is then cleared up after school with Chloe, Go, Cerise, and the scientists from the lab. They're about to take Eevee back, but both Chloe and Eevee reminisce on their brief time together, and Eevee jumps out of the scientist's arm and into Chloe's. The head scientist then comes forward and tells Chloe that she can actually keep the Eevee, explaining to her that it's a special Eevee that doesn't seem to evolve, and her theory is that maybe it just hasn't made up its mind yet and it doesn't know what it wants to do, and when the time comes, it'll make its decision on its own, connecting it back to the theme that I was talking about earlier. Chloe then finally captures the Eevee in her Pokeball, making it her first capture since technically Amper is Cerise's Pokemon, and the episode ends with her getting her own Rotom Dex, hinting that she may be a trainer in the future. So, I have a theory as to why this Eevee couldn't evolve. Mind you now, this is just a theory that I came up with pretty quickly as I was watching through the episode, but what if they're planning a new evolution for the next generation of Pokemon, and that's why they're making Chloe's Eevee not evolve for now? I know that you could argue, Maybe this Eevee can Gigantamax, so it can't evolve, and maybe that's the case, but narrative-wise, that wouldn't make any sense since the story is about how she and Eevee are both hesitant to commit to something. The payoff to that would then be, by the end of the series, both Chloe and Eevee will evolve into something. That also works with around the end of the series when they can start teasing the next generation of Pokemon with a new evolution as their first tease. I don't know, that's just my theory. And as far as the episode goes, this is a really good episode. The story was solid throughout, with it focusing mainly just on Chloe, who's always had the most story potential since she doesn't have concrete goals yet, and her interactions with Eevee are great. The story of Eevee itself is great, and I like how it parallels with one another. And even though I don't expect this Eevee to have a major role in the series, at least unlike Lana's Eevee, who was just brought in to advertise Let's Go Eevee, this one at least seems to have a story, and one that's interesting and I can't wait to see what happens next on. The next episode is another fossil episode. Feels like we just had one a bit ago, but this time it's about the Galarian fossils, and I'm particularly excited for Carol S. I wonder if Ash is going to get one of these monstrous Pokemons on his team. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. But anyways, that is it from our review of episode 49 of the Journeys Anime. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this episode. You can also follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.